Don't forget hard drives and the cloud. In the next few decades, we could be storing all of our data. So pictures, videos, music, all of that on a strand of DNA. KXAN's Eric Henriksen explores how research at UT is making this future possible. Right now, Microsoft, Google, and a bevy of researchers around the world are all working to store all of our data on our genetic code carriers, DNA. So how does it work? Data is stored on computers by converting an item, say a picture, into a sequence of ones and zeros. Computers then read that sequence and can determine what the picture is. DNA storage works similarly, except instead of ones and zeros, the picture is converted into a sequence of letters that make up a strand of DNA. It can then be manufactured in a lab and stored. There are now companies where you can just type in all the four letters of the genetic code into a little text window and they will ship you by FedEx a little envelope with your DNA. Why would we do this? A single gram of DNA can store 2 billion gigabytes of data. And as long as it's in a cold, airtight, you know, dark room, you don't need to have a massive server farm with the cooling and the carbon footprint associated with it. One problem though, DNA code is prone to errors. The way the DNA is created, the most common kinds of errors are actually insertions or deletions. Something added or removed without an obvious marker. To offset the problem, the UT research team developed an algorithm that makes it easier to avoid and spot these errors, making DNA data storage more viable. Now don't expect to be using DNA to save all your photos anytime soon. It's still very expensive to both create and read the DNA. Plus your computer needs to be able to understand it. In 20 years, if we can get the cost down, then you will see it show up in consumer-grade products.